Hello, and welcome to Blacker Bricks vlog number 12. So to start off this vlog, I'm actually going to be packing orders and, um, well, picking and packing orders. I actually already have one over here that is ready. And I've actually, to the most part, I've stopped showing the actual order like this, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out or thank you to Cafe Beef 45 I'm not sure if you're watching this video or not, but if you are, this is right for you. Thank you so much. This person has actually placed three orders within, I think, the last month or so. And uh, they actually messaged me a couple days back that they were very happy with the order, uh, with the two orders they placed, and that they would like to place another one. So actually, I sent them a coupon and everything. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to get packing. So thanks again to them. It's always super, super nice to read these kind messages, and it really makes my day. So I'm just going to get started picking this out. Our first, well, sorry, our second order, actually, this one right over here, it has been packed. Uh, you might have noticed that this was actually a white palette before. I just switched it out, so there was absolutely no confusion. So this is one order, and then these two are one order. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Lots of slopes and cool parts in there, actually. And, um, yeah, so I guess at this point, all I'm going to do is get that packed up and then send it out. Cool. Thanks for just tuning in, guys. Okay, so the two orders have been successfully packed. Um, we got the one larger one here and the one little tiny one over there. And yeah, I guess this was a really short update because as you can see, there were only two orders today. But I might put up a couple of sales this, uh, this week. And uh, that always leads to more sales. So keep... I guess keep an eye out by the time this video <laughs> releases the week will be over but as always um there will be sales going on in the store and you can look out for them thanks again for checking this little part out thought i'd update everyone on what exactly i've been working on lately um as some of you may know i've been putting together a couple of custom builds lately and i actually posted the instructions to this one on my channel it's also on my rebrickable page so if you search up blacker bricks rebrickable you'll be able to find these instructions for free. Now this is actually a red couch set that I put together. I have nine copies of it right here. And what I'm going to do right now is actually, um, well, first I'm gonna empty them out. The parts I purchased from another store, unfortunately, they were not in the best condition. So what I did is I took the parts out of my uh, own personal collection, um, wash them, rinse them out with soap and everything, set them out to dry, and now they're all clean. So those pieces are just a little bit grimy, honestly. I'm, I'm going to take them away, and I don't know, we'll see. Honestly, I maybe could have cleaned those, and I probably will. But getting back to the point, what I'm going to do now is take now the nine copies, sort them all out, and seal them up with an impulse sealer, because I'm not a huge fan of these uh, bags that they're in right now. And uh, just like the other build I did so far, I'm going to prepare boxes for them as well. So yeah, I'll get to work and update you guys very soon. My camera actually died, unfortunately, while I was recording that little time lapse, but I guess it gives me the opportunity to explain exactly what I'm doing. So. I switched out the older ones with the new cleaned ones, and uh, so that's good. And really what I'm doing now is I'm just taking out all the parts into little bins just to double check the number because I really don't want there to be any mistakes. Um, I'll also let you guys know that is the Leprechaun build. I'm not really thinking of putting it on my store right now because it is April and it kind of doesn't make sense until Leprechaun... Leprechaun's Day until St. Patrick's Day returns. Um, I guess I could experiment with it. I, I don't really know why because I feel it wouldn't be very popular. So uh, anyways, I'll get back to the point and get this uh, get this started.
So even though the product is objectively almost pretty much like the same, it just looks a lot nicer in my opinion with the packaging like this. It's like shiny. It's uh yeah, it's just cool. I mean, these bags are okay, but I don't know. It just doesn't. It, I don't really like how it looks, to be completely honest with you. So um, I guess I'll prepare a QR code for the instructions and a box and then yeah these are pretty much they're all ready to go so I'm, I'm so excited that i was able to get that done um i actually have two other builds which i'm still waiting on parts for so i can't really get those done today but i'm really glad this is moving forward and i'm, I'm kind of building up my collection of um custom little models and then if they sell well or i enjoy it which well i can tell you from already that i'm definitely enjoying it and uh, how they sell is kind of going to be up to uh, you guys, I guess the customers, we'll see that. Um, but I have definitely had so much fun, the whole process, designing, then being able to buy the parts and creating instructions. It's just been an incredible experience for me. Um, in the last vlog, actually, I think number 11, we discussed the huge box over here and all the pieces. They were like all over the place. So what I actually did over the course of the last day, or sorry, the last couple of days, and I, I started filling up these acro mills with the parts that I want to keep, and there are quite a few nice ones in there. And uh, yeah, so I've pretty much just been going through the drawers and and just doing that. And yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So I still have a couple of parts. I think the majority of ones, like, like this huge bag of fan green 1x6 bricks I got at the Picker Brick Wall a while ago, that one obviously cannot fit in e either a small or even a large one so i am going to have to find a different setup for that and we'll see maybe it'll just be put in a pick a brick cup anyways uh hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video um yeah it's sunday again and i have a total of five orders to pick we have a really really small one on brick owl like usual and then a couple of medium-sized orders on brick link um, i actually ran a little 20 percent store-wide sale this past week and i'll be honest i expected more sales but i guess i'm not too disappointed i guess it's always better to have a couple sales than none so Regardless, I'm going to get packing, see if I can clear out a, little, a couple more drawers. I thought I'd also just quickly show you guys the state of my drawers. I still haven't gone through them. I guess I was a little bit lazy with that. So after today's orders, I'm almost definitely going to have to because, I mean, obviously because I, I want to just reduce it, but also just for the sake of ease and everything, right? Because right now it's not very easy to navigate that because, um, yeah, well, obviously. Anyways, I will get started picking and update you guys when those are all ready. All the orders have been packed. I'll give the quick breakdown. This order had a lot of Technic parts and it's these three pallets. Then this is a single order. Lots of Harry Potter minifigures. Then this one is another order. Some Star Wars related stuff. This one's an order with just a single piece, definitely contending for one of my smallest orders of all time. And then we have a Wonder Woman CMF there. So yeah, all five orders. Um, thankfully, nothing huge, so it's going to be fairly easy to pack. I mean, I know the order on the back and that one here, just need one bag. That one really only, or sorry, this, this large order, we'll see how I do it. But um, I still honestly... Well, more unfortunately than anything, I can't pack each part individually. That would just take way too long. So I'll probably group similar kinds of parts together, or if they're, in this case, like there's some parts that are identical. But uh, I'll update you guys with all that very soon. All right, so I'm here a little bit later. Thankfully, packing all these orders up did not really take more than 20, 30 minutes. I'm very glad. Um, we have all five orders here. Obviously, this one and this one were very straightforward, just a single piece, or sorry, a single bag. Um, this one I used three bags for. I guess I could have put them into two, but I just wanted to use those up. Um, this one over here, all minifigs, separated into eight parts. And then this was the largest order for today. So this was used. Everything else was, um, well, this one was sort of a little bit more of a random bag with a lot of different plate pieces. Otherwise, it was sorted out fairly, um, like, uh, fairly uniform. So these are, like, Technic pins. These are Technic uh, lift or, I guess, lift arms, maybe? Not the word, right word. And then these are Technic plates and stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty, pretty well organized. And, um, yeah, that really wraps up today's orders. Um, again, this is really what, oh, sorry about that, bad focus. Yes, so this is what the wall is looking like right now. Lots and lots of open drawers. Maybe if I look, if I show you guys from the side, you'll get a little bit of a better perspective. If you, show, if you look at it like this, it doesn't look that bad. But when you see it from the side, you see that, yeah, there's a lot of drawers open. So hopefully 
at this rate, maybe I can get it into uh, just eight drawers. Um, that one down there. and Well, this one definitely is going to be out, but that one I'll have to see. But yeah, that's something else to get working on started. Um, obviously, huge time-consuming thing, but it's something that needs to be done. So I have a package in front of me, and I'm just realizing after flipping it over that it's not exactly the cleanest package. Um, I actually left it out on my doorstep, but I guess that's uh, no, no real problem. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to cut it open, and we will take a look. So this was an order from Bricklink I placed, and the whole reason actually was just a couple of parts in very uh, at nice prices. So we actually have quite a lot of stuff in here, and I'll, uh, I'll try to go through each thing uh, one at a time. So first, I guess I'll talk to you guys about the parts that I placed this whole order for. So these are just the plates. So we have one by three plates in the tan color. Put those in the way. And we have uh, four by four plates in the tan color. And finally, two by six plates in tan color. So I'll tell you the story. This was supposed to be for what I believe is my um sorry oh my god <laughs> my april build yes so that is the easter basket and i was planning on getting those parts at a pick a brick wall when i was back in florida i did not actually go uh, a second or third time so i was not able to pick those parts up but those are the ones i needed the most now since i was buying from the store i decided hey why not let me buy some other cool parts so i went ahead um these two parts are specifically for my tree that is uh the one by two or i guess one by four brackets in the reddish brown color hopefully you guys can see those all right those are going to be useful for the tree and then i got some brown slopes i actually got a, quite a few of these i think uh on my shop at home or brick it shop at home bricks and pieces order so i don't really need a ton of these um this is actually i think just 50 one by one studs i actually i don't know maybe i expected there to be more maybe i should have ordered more anyways these are just one by one studs in light blue gray i actually had hardly any of these so i thought i'd buy some that's going to be for the castle probably um i think i missed this this is also going to be probably for the um the tree and these are just uh yellow stems and those would help if i can get some yellow plants so like the uh the plant leaves but we'll we'll see about that um i do have quite a few other parts i think i have three parts in the medium nougat color we have one by one plates one by one bricks and then these one by four logs so quite a few cool pieces um i also have a couple of hinge slash socket pieces which i i desperately need these ones so i'm glad to have these again um this is just one by two plates in blue i sorry dark blue i'm actually not sure exactly why i purchased these they're cool color i guess and uh one by one tiles in the green color one by two slopes and sand green definitely one of my favorite colors and then finally we have bricks so one by two brick in bright green and then one by two brick with a little handle on the side a bar uh and that's in sand blue so pretty good haul. It was actually not very expensive. I think the issue was that I ended up paying $8 for shipping because it just went over the one pound. So it was, I think, the flat rate. So I guess I, in hindsight, I kindly, I kind of wish I either bought a little bit less or a lot more. So then it would be a lot more worth the $8 shipping. But I guess we make mistakes. Um, I, I think I'll stick to requesting a quote next time. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. I definitely am glad that these pieces came fairly quickly. And I can get started, or well, I already started the tree mock. But I can continue to work on it with uh, some of these pieces I got. So excited for that. okay so we are here again in the lego room as pretty much always and today's task is going to be sorting i guess and putting away these drawers so exactly what i'm going to doing is uh, sorry i'll explain to you exactly what i am doing so all of the drawers over here i'm just going to be moving those parts into this into these ones so i have brick sink set up and really what i'm going to do is just change the remarks and move them over to the open drawers so the main reason i'm doing to, the main reason i'm doing this is to reduce the number of drawers that are in in use right now i think i have a total of 12 uh cabinets so hopefully i can get that down to at least 10 today i mean obviously we'll have to see and uh, i will update you guys maybe i'll even try to move some things into organizers so instead 
of sorting out the drawers, which I sort of did. I actually ended up taking out all of the minifigures from my inventory. So this is something I had been hoping to do for a little while. And uh, really all I did is I, I changed the drawer numbers and I put this into stock room. So these I'm going to be holding on to for who knows how long, maybe a year, two years, three years. Just want to see how much they're going up. And I've taken up quite a couple of drawers. And the drawers, as you can see, are still how they were before. I did spend almost an hour doing this. So taking everything out, um, relabeling, finding the correct drawers to put them into. So now they're even more that are open so that's still something that needs to be taken care of and i am a little bit reluctant because it just takes so much time so i will try to get to that if not later today maybe another day but i am making progress doing things that i want to and need to so i'm glad that all those minifigures have been sorted out all right so i have another package in front of me um i guess I kind of like the idea of holding on to a couple of packages and then opening them at once, I guess. I have been very excited for this package to come in for a while, so I kind of just wanted to open it up as soon as possible. And uh, on a side note, I don't really like accumulating a ton of packages at once. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a different idea. But anyways, I'll, I'll get right to the point. So I ordered this back in March. Right now is April. I think the day of the recording is April 21st. And I ordered it on March 17th when I placed an order for uh, Winnie the Pooh, the, the VIP. I think that was the release date. So anyways, I got some bricks and pieces and there are a couple of new parts actually that I wanted to get and I, I actually have a pair of scissors here but it's opening quite nicely just like this so if that works then I don't even need any of those so hopefully that will be good enough and yeah this is looking good so I'll take out this slip first of all and um, I'll put the parts so you guys can see all those uh, March 18th thanks for placing your order with us Let's see how much the total for this. Okay, so only $27. Um, I think the total after tax came out to around $30. $29.43 to be exact. But let's uh, let's take a look. I actually brought a pallet with me today. So we can take a look exactly at what stuff I have received. So let me just show you the bag, first of all. So you guys can take a little bit of a better look at what I got. Uh, that's a little bit good. Okay. So we have some dogs in here, a couple of bowls, some masonry bricks, and some actual bricks. So let me start to open this up and give you guys a little bit of an idea of what exactly I have purchased. I don't know why there's stuff on this. Okay, so I will do my best to go through everything and hopefully not miss anything. Okay, so first off, you can see that I have two masonry bricks. We have one by four, both of them, uh, one in tan and then one in light bluish gray. Now I have a ton of light bluish gray, one by two masonry bricks. I don't actually think I have any uh, tan masonry bricks, so I thought I'd pick up a couple of these. They were fairly reasonable. Um, I actually have all the prices here so I can read them out. And again, these are US dollars. So it's saying, oh no, so they don't give any of them. Okay, so three dollars eighty cents for 20 so i'm guessing 19 cents for one and then the the other ones were four dollars and 20 cents so that will be i think 21 cents for that so uh 10 was 19 cents and these were uh 21 cents okay so you might have noticed these bricks over here and at first glance you might not be sure and i wasn't sure either these are actually a color called nougat which is commonly used in minifigure heads uh, I don't think they have ever made bricks in this color before. This was from the new Ninjago City Gardens. I think I picked up like 50 or something. And to look back now, I kind of wish I got more. Um, I don't really know because they were expensive. I think they were nine cents each. So I wasn't about to just go buy like a hundred or anything. Well, not thinking I could. Maybe if I buy again, I'll I'll get more of these. I don't know how long they'll be available. But uh, it's kind of in between like a medium nougat and I guess like almost a tan sort of color. I, I wish I had another piece to compare to, but this is definitely not medium nougat. It's just a little bit different. Almost looks like coral on the camera. Okay, so I also got these bowls. Now I'll have to check exactly how many I got of this part. It looks like I got five and the total is $1.80. So I am guessing it was a little under 40 cents, maybe 30, I, I don't know. I think 36 cents might be it. I'm kind of just calculating all of this on the fly. 
So these pieces are cool. I think they're somewhat new and I, I just like them. They're very cute and <laughs> they seem like they could be useful parts. Okay, so I also got this wheelbarrow. I'm very, very happy with how this looks. It's just so, so nice. I love getting the new parts from LEGO because they're just so like uh, in such great condition all the time. So this wheelbarrow was $1.93. I know, a little bit pricey, but I think it was worth it. And I think, I don't even know what wheel goes with this. I think it might just be the um, the, the, the the piece that you get at the picker brick, the black one that goes on skateboards and stuff. So I hope that's it. And this is just a cool little piece. I mean, I didn't get like 10 of these because I don't know what I'm going to do with 10. Compared to like a piece like a shopping cart, which I can see a lot of use. This is just a nice little piece maybe to put in like someone's shed or something. So... Another piece I just thought would be cool for some upcoming mocks. Um, I actually got some of the new wheelchair piece. I thought that was a very cool thing. I don't know actually how new this is. I haven't seen it before. And I think these came in some of the 2021 sets. So I got two of these, one in red and one in, I think, light bluish gray. So these were, if I can check the price quickly, red one was 153 and uh light bluish gray one was 148 so again obviously expensive parts i did check these all on bricklink and i think they were all way more expensive so i thought it made sense i think these might go with the bicycle wheels um let me not try to stuff it in if it doesn't actually fit yep okay those are Ah, oh, that just looks so cool. I am a big fan of that. I think that's super cool that LEGO has made these good, I guess, oh no, it's kind of hard to get them out now. I think it's super cool that LEGO has made these parts, and now I'm going to struggle to get that part out while you guys, okay, <laughs> I got it out. Yeah, so going right in to the wheels now, these were uh, 75 cents each. Oof, that's expensive. Again, don't think they were too much better than anyone else. And this is actually a single piece, so it's uh, it's not two different pieces brought into one. And these are also the ones I think are used in bikes sometimes. Maybe they're a little bit different than this, but I really like these pieces. And I got four of them in total. Yep, those are the other two. Okay, so very cool. I think I'm only going to talk about now the, the two dogs. So I got the masonry bricks, bowl. Oh, there's one more part that I didn't see. Or I didn't get to. Yes, yes, yes. That's actually, I think that might be the whole reason I even placed this order in the first place. So we have two dogs. And I am just guessing, I think this is supposed to be a golden retriever. And they don't, I, I maybe this is a lab, Labrador retriever. So it's a uh, tan dog and a reddish brown dog. I'm almost certain this one is a, uh, is a golden retriever. I'm not sure though about this one. Might be a lab. Uh, anyways, this one was I think 218 and this one was 219, so really not a huge difference. Again, I was a little bit skeptical or reluctant to pay this much money for just a single piece, but again, it was much more expensive on Bricklink, so I said, let's go for it. I love how cute these dogs are, and they just feels like a really good fit in any city. They also have that great stun on the back, so if you want to add a leash or anything, like maybe, I, I don't know, I guess what else you could add to a dog, but you can probably just hear from my voice. I'm very excited to add that to the animal collection, which I have been trying to build up lately. Okay, so what else? Yes, yes, yes. So these were the new pieces from, I think, a creator set. And I just absolutely love this. I'm going to zoom in on that as much as possible. And I think that actually looks really good on the camera. So this is just a 2 by 2 tile in the tan color. And I think it's supposed to be a painting that comes from a new 3-in-1 set. You have what looks to be uh, an African elephant with a little... A uh, calf? I do not remember the name for Elephant Young right now. And it looks like we have a tree over there and a sunset. And this is just so beautifully done. I got three of these. And I think these were 33 cents each. So I paid just under a dollar for all of them. And I don't know. I thought that would make for a nice decoration maybe in someone's house. That they, oh, they had a great trip to Africa. They brought a picture back. But that really wraps up this, uh, this little order. I actually placed another order with a very big set that I got over VIP weekend, uh, double VIP points weekend, that is. And um, obviously that will be coming who knows when, maybe a month or so like this one. And I will definitely be placing more of these orders. I'd like to place them when I buy sets because then I don't have to pay the whatever, two ninety five for shipping. But again, super glad to get these parts. I think I actually might be ending this vlog with this one. I know it's been going super long, but thanks again for staying and tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.